Wise Guy Bets here with some picks. DFS for tonight. DraftKings main slate. We've got 10 games on the slate. Today's date is 8-16-2021. Let's get right into it and look at the pitcher position. At pitcher, I'm going for some value tonight who I think it can produce. I'm going with Carlos Hernandez for Kansas City. He's facing Houston. Houston is coming off a tough uh, three-game sweep of the Washington Nationals. Could see a letdown tonight. Uh, Mr. Hernandez, his projection on the night is 11.9. He has ERA of 4.11 on the season. He's getting around 2.7 innings pitch per game. His last three games have been 23, 23, and 15. He's starting this game. His salary is 6,600 on DraftKings. I'm basically counting on a letdown from Houston tonight, a slight letdown. And Mr. Hernandez has been successful in his last three starts. So he's not – He's pitching very well. He's pitched six innings, five innings, and seven innings in those starts. And I think he can get us 15 to 20 fantasy points tonight. And if he can do that at a salary of 6,600, I'm taking him all day long. So Carlos Hernandez is someone I want to get into my lineup at pitcher tonight. Let's look at the catcher position. At catcher, I'm looking at Jan Gomez. For Oakland, he's 2,800 on DraftKings. His projection is 7.3. He has 11 homers on the season. He's batting 268. He's getting around 3.5 at bats per game. He's averaging uh, seven fantasy points over 71 games. His last three games, fantasy point wise, has been five, five, and zero. Coming off a of zero, I like a zero. I like him coming off a of zero. He's nine for 25, batting 360 against the pitcher. He's facing six singles, two doubles, one home run. His last five against Chicago has been 9 7 14 0 9. I think he can pr- produce tonight. Uh, I basically bore this pick down between him and Buster Posey. Uh, Posey's about $1,200 more. The same projection, and I think they're going to get similar uh, production tonight. Jan Gomez is someone I want to definitely try to get into my lineup at the catcher position tonight. Let's look at the uh, first base position. At first base, I'm looking at Eric Holzmer for San Diego. His projection on the night is 9.4 fantasy points, 10 homers on the season, batting 280, getting 3.5 at bats per game. He's averaging six fantasy points over 110 games. His last three uh, games, fantasy point wise, has been 10, 0, and 10. 4,000 on draft games. Against the pitch he's facing, he's batting 300, 6 for 20, three singles, two doubles, one home run. Projection run total 12 and a half, which I really like. Mr. Hosmer can get five, six at bats if, you know, if the uh, run total comes out as the uh, books think they will. So I like Mr. Hosmer tonight uh, in my lineups. His last five against Colorado has been six, six, five, six, and seven. So Eric Hosmer is someone I'm definitely trying to get in my lineup tonight at the first base position. Let's look at the uh, second base position. At second base, I'm looking at Brandon Rogers for Colorado, another player from this Colorado San Diego game with a high projected run total. His projection on night is 6.7 fantasy points. He's batting 284 in the season. He's getting around 3.5 at bats per game. He's averaging seven fantasy points over 62 games. His last three games have been 6 7 and 0. It's 4,700 on DraftKings. He's two for three against the pitch he's facing. One single, one home run. Uh, I like him in this position now. He's second in the lineup uh, batting wise. His last five against uh, San Diego has been 0 3, 19, 14, and 5. So he's had moderate success. I like him in this position tonight. Again, he can possibly get five or six at bats uh, if the game go the way it's supposed to go. So Brandon Rogers is someone I want to get into my lineup tonight at the uh, second base position. Let's look at the third base position. At third base, I'm looking at Wilmer Flores, San Francisco. His projection on that is 7.9 fantasy points, 15 homers on the season. He's batting 248. He's getting around 2.9 at-bats per game. He's averaging six fantasy points over 106 games. His last three games, fantasy point wise, has been 21, 2, and 5. Um, he's 3,500 on DraftKings. He's 4 for 12 against the Patriots, facing one single, two doubles, one home run. 
Uh, his last five against New York has been 0 0 14 0 5. I like the success rate he has against the pitcher he's facing. And I just like him in this position in home against the Mets. Let's go to the shortstop position. At shortstop, that's we're looking at Fernando Tavis Jr. Uh, Tavis Jr., second game back off of injury, his first game back. He crushed it. Two home runs. He had 42 fantasy points. His projection on night is 11.3. Uh, 33 homers on the season, spending 300. He's getting around 3.6 at bats per game. Last, uh, he's averaging 12 games. 12, I'm sorry, 12 points. Fantasy points over 88 games. His last three games, fantasy point wise, is 7, 3, and 42. 6,100 on DraftKings. He's batting for 3 for 12 against the pitcher he's facing. Uh, his last five against Colorado has been 0, 0, 0, 7, and 3. I don't think he gets to the 42 unless he decides to crush it again tonight. But with this 12 and a half uh, run total projection, I got to put Mr. Junior, Titus Junior, in my lineup as a core pick. Because if he gets on base, he's going to make some noise. He always does, and he's going to give us fantasy points. So Fernando Tyus Jr. is someone I want to get into my lineups tonight at the uh, shortstop position. Let's look at the outfield. In the outfield, I'm looking at Nelson Cruz for Tampa Bay. His projection on the night is 9.4 fantasy points. He has 24 homers on the season. He's batting 271. He's getting around 3.6 at bats per game. He's averaging eight fantasy points over 104 games. His last three games, tw- fantasy point wise, has been 21, 0, and 0. He's 4,600 on draft games, 0 for 1 against the pitcher he's facing. His last five against Baltimore has been 13, 3, 29, 21, and 4. I think he can have success against any pitcher that Baltimore throws at him. Also, coming off a double zero, he ha- he's coming off a zero in the last. Uh, month of the season he's came back with a uh, huge fantasy points nights so i like nelson cruz to get back on track tonight and he's definitely someone i want to try to get into my lineup in the outfield tonight so those are my picks for today go ahead and hit that like button if my picks help you uh and subscribe to my channel uh that would be greatly appreciated hope you learned something from this video and thanks for watching